If there is something that SpaceX will forever be remembered for, it is their ability to surprise the world with some of the most innovative and unusual ideas. But introducing innovative solutions is one thing, and making them perfect is another. The same is true for this new landing system that SpaceX has recently introduced for Mechazilla, which is facing some major problems. So, what sort of problem is SpaceX facing? Let's find out. Welcome to another video on the channel. Today, we are going to discuss the problems that SpaceX is facing with its new catch landing system. What is the problem? Will SpaceX be able to get it all right to land Starship and its booster back on Earth without a problem? Well, stick around till the end as we answer all these questions and more. Without any further ado, let's get started. Starship, which is the flagship program of SpaceX, is expecting to take its first official orbital flight very soon. No one knows the exact date, as we haven't heard any official announcement from SpaceX. But according to Elon Musk, Starship was supposed to launch during the 12 months of 2022. Now that 2023 is just a few days away, everyone is expecting that it is only possible for SpaceX to launch Starship in 2023. This Starship that we are expecting will soon be launched is the Starship 24, which will use a Super Heavy Booster 7 with 33 Raptor engines. To give you an idea about how powerful this rocket is, once all its 33 engines are fired, it will break all the records of the previous spacecraft launched from the face of the Earth. But that's not what we are here for today. We are here to talk about the new landing system that SpaceX has announced for the landing of Starship and its Super Heavy booster, and the problems SpaceX is facing with it. SpaceX is the first space agency to introduce reusable rocket boosters, and we saw very successful landings of many Falcon 9s and other boosters. It wasn't like SpaceX succeeded immediately. Obviously, they had their fair share of failures, but they finally got a hold of their system. And then, we saw them perform several precise and successful touchdowns of rocket boosters. However, now it's all going to change for the Starship. You see, when we heard the news of SpaceX conducting many static engine tests of the Super Heavy booster, we saw all that smoke being pushed out. But those who took a close look at the booster were confused because there were no landing arms on the booster. Everyone was asking, where are the arms on which this booster will land back on Earth? We finally got the answer when SpaceX revealed that they will be using a capturing technique to catch the Starship and Super Heavy instead of landing them on the ground. Imagine something falling down on the Earth. Would you ever dare to catch it? I'm sure the answer will be a big no, but SpaceX is the name of innovation and out-of-the-box thinking. So, they did something different this time through which the Mechazilla will be caught by the launch tower using its two gripping arms called the Chopsticks. Once the booster completes its job of pushing the Starship out of the lower orbit of Earth, the booster will come down on Earth. But instead of landing on the ground or a base, it will come back to the launch tower and slowly slide in between the gripping arms. Now, this is a very tricky job. I mean, the booster, even with over two-thirds of the fuel consumed, is nothing less than a 24-story building falling on the ground. No one's sure about the success rate of this landing system. Not even SpaceX has tested it before. Yes, this capturing technology is the most recent one, which SpaceX is ready to test on the very first flight of Starship. That's where you know that SpaceX can become very fierce towards implementing some of their strategies considering they just got the license to launch the Starship. FAA, which is the regulatory and governing body, performs assessments of the spacecraft and their environmental impact, as is quite evident from the amount of smoke they release during the launch. So, to make sure that the hazardous smoke doesn't cross a certain threshold, FAA acquires assessment reports and upon that, it releases the license. SpaceX has been trying to get its license, but somehow, it always got delayed. It even came to the point that the rumors were that FAA is not granting the license intentionally so that NASA's SLS rocket can be launched on time. 
But then, these are mere rumors and speculations. Getting back to the capture landing system now. This system is very new. None of the previous rocket boosters have ever touched down with the help of the launch tower. The reason SpaceX is ready to risk it all with their new feature is that once it gets successful, SpaceX will be able to perform consecutive flights by restacking the booster with a new Starship vessel on top of it. SpaceX claims that if this goes successfully, then they will be able to launch Starships using the same boosters with a gap of an hour between the launches. Obviously, this is quite a promising goal, considering that Elon Musk wants to colonize Mars and for that, we will be needing a technology and mechanism where we don't have to wait for several hours or even days between the launches of Starship. Even if we get the consecutive launch thing out of the equation, still, the weight reduction by catching the booster instead of using arms to do it is significant. So, there is no doubt about the usability of this feature. However, for now, there are a lot of problems and concerns that revolve around this new catch landing system. The gripping arms of the tower are designed to relocate themselves in case the Starship or its booster's location is a bit off. But in case the rocket does not locate itself perfectly so it can slide between the gripping arms, it can end up as a big disaster. The damage to the launch tower will obviously be significant. And then there is the orbital launch mount and surrounding area that will get affected in case of a massive disaster. All this becomes very concerning, especially considering that SpaceX might get its license terminated. The reason is, Super Heavy will not come back for landing with zero fuel left in it, as there is almost 10% of fuel still left in the tank. In case of an accident, the fuel inside will transform the booster into a live bomb. I'm pretty sure if we fast forward 10 years into the future, we will find a lot of Mechazillas. Landing rockets will become quite common, and not just SpaceX, but everyone would be practicing them. This speaks volumes about the landing mechanism. Speaking of which, this is just the initial years of the whole process. Who knows in the coming years what we might see a change in, and how the whole mechanism works. Let me give you an example. Looking at the Mechazilla, it doesn't have rounded arms, which would make sense as the booster it catches is also rounded. Maybe something is attached to the boosters that enable them to catch it. We can't say for sure. Only Elon Musk and his team will know the answer to that question. That's it for today. I hope you liked this one. Please let me know by pressing the like button and if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications. Till then, take care of yourself and we'll see you guys in the next one.